Shalom, shalom. So today we back at it, man. Yom day one, getting them rafters on. Last video, man, I built the rafters. Uh, I also put them up there, but I needed some uh, some doggone lag lag screws to put them in. So you can see them up there, man. They on there, up there. I just finished putting those on, and uh, I use these right here. These big old five inch. These big old five inch. Uh, what what size is that? Comes with a. Uh, I didn't, I didn't say what size it is, but five inch, big old bolts right here, big old screws, put those in there and it came with the, um, came with the doggone, there's a little tool that came with this one. I don't know what this one is. This gotta be a T4, yeah, that's a T40 right there. Big old head. And then uh, got those on there. Now what I'm about to do is get my, uh, I got all my hurricane, open these up and we'll start putting these on this is a must let me show you these right here this is a must uh in high wind areas you don't put no hurricane ties on your whole roof uh will lift off and this just helps uh reinforce it so out here we get a lot of high winds and uh definitely this is these things are like a dollar a piece so definitely worth the investment. I'm getting ready to start putting these on. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. We getting after it, man. Looking good so far, man. Looking real good so far. Making good progress. Got the building square. Um, was able to push forward that way. And I think what made it through without a square is uh, where I tightened down the anchor bolts. Um, pretty much made the wood pull one way. So we squared that up. Uh, so... Yep, I'm about to put these hurricane ties on and we will go from there. And uh, yeah, man, I'll give you an update here in a minute. All right, we back at it, man. I got those, uh, these hurricane ties right here mounted and you can see what they do. They pretty much hold the, uh, the rafters onto the bottom plate right there, bottom and, uh, bottom and uh top plate right there and i got them all on there i'm gonna just go around and tighten these things up man Let's do the other side. Got these going right there. Last one, right there. And I'll probably put another one in there. Let me grab another screw. And these, um, I reused these screws because they came out of the, uh, off the old greenhouse. So when I'm doing demolition, stuff like that, and I, stuff is still can be used, I'm not throwing this away. I'm saving these containers and using them. Anytime I build something and take it apart and the screws are still good, I use them. So hold tight real quick. 
Let me get this one in here. All right, so there you have it. Hurricane ties is on there. One is holding one side, and then if you go to the other side, uh, show you. That one's got a tie on it. So every one is connected to the frame, holding it down to the top plate. And uh, like I said, man, these are good investment for a dollar. You know, once your roof starts lifting up off there in the wind, it's too late. I'd rather hear this thing over here squeaking whole known than to just doggone fly off. So I'm gonna keep on working. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a uh, put a couple of uh, uh, studs in between uh, connecting all these right here solid on the front. So it, ha it it's pretty much clamped down and got some good clamping for it. So stay tuned and I'll show you that. All right, so what I got right here is I got one already started. I put one right there. And then I'm about to put this one on. Hold tight real quick. Let me get my, I ain't got no mount or nothing. I ain't got my GoPro just using my phone. I'm trying to get you guys some content. So we're going to go ahead and put that bad boy in. And that will, with these being five inches long, it will connect all three of these, tie them in together real solid. The one that I put on the end connects those, uh, it connects the top rafter right here. It connects this one and that one, but it doesn't connect the bottom one. So just wanted to do that to uh, strengthen it, man, get more longevity out of it. All right, let's keep working. All right, so we back at it, man. Just finished uh, putting the roof on using these uh, corrugated clear PVC panels. And uh, they were pretty easy, man. I'll show you the system that uh, I use. I got some more of them right here. I didn't put them on all today for the uh, simple fact that, let's see. So I use these right here, this system to help lock it in. And uh, let me, I don't know, get right so I can show you. I always got gear in there, man. So yeah, I'll show you, man. In conclusion, man, we did the uh, we did the rafters, okay, hurricane ties, and then uh, put the clear panels on there. You can see that right there. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some um, some flex seal tape and put over the top of this channel, or I might even do like some uh, insulation tape because it'll uh, it will have like a foam, and I gotta put a metal channel over the top so it doesn't uh leak in here and i'm gonna use uh some doggone spray foam i got cans of spray foam um but i had to pretty much do all of it except this row so i can get my ladder up here and put the channel on the top if i don't do that i'm not gonna have any reach um to be able to put the channel on there the metal channel um there you have it man that's a good day's worth of work on this thing and it's coming along man Hey, just uh, want to encourage you, man. The more, the more reps you get, man, the easier this stuff gets. You know, uh, everything is not exact, but you can modify, adjust, and uh, man, all praise to the Most High Yah for being able to get after it today, man. And um, you know, just uh, be tuned in and tapped in to other people walking in truth, walking in uh, you know, walking in. Yeah, just thankful, man, that uh, I've had the experience to be around some brothers and, and, and fellowship with brothers that, um, you know, do stuff like this and uh, constantly be able to get after it versus just paying somebody to do it and don't learn anything in the process. You know, um, last year I went with the, the plastic over the top, but uh, it did not last it. It did not hold up in the wind. I think these right here are a... Uh, a three year product, a three to four year product. So I'll get longer, um, longer life out of these in that plastic. That wind was in staples was just whooping through that plastic. So we're not doing that. Uh, I still got to come back in here and finish painting the 
Let me see the inside beams with that waterproof sealant. But um, so far, so good, man. We are, we're getting the grease hot with this one. You know, and I'll be able to put some beams up here and uh, run little lines down for plants that need uh, to be anchored. Yeah. Yep, so we're gonna get after it. But just wanted to show you that, man. I'm just cleaning up the job site right now and uh, getting ready to head up out of here. Got some doggone other stuff to do this evening. And um, that wraps it up, man. Been out here since about nine. Getting after it. Weather's about 85. Saw the scrap wood. Uh, this wood will get used. You know, pretty much use pressure treated all the way up uh, until I started doing the rafters. So all the way from the walls to the top plate is pressure treated. And then with the uh, these rafters, you know, studs in the middle, that's all just unpressured lumber. So yeah, man, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. You know, let me know what you think down in the comments. Have a blessed day, man. Stay encouraged.